There is a great need tonight for the more than 3 million refugees who have fled Ukraine since the Russian invasion. We're happy to have you with us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Delon Dillard. And I'm Courtney Guzman. Our state is home to more than 40,000 Ukrainians, many living right here in Northeast Ohio. And the crisis has galvanized many to take action, like the parishioners here at Porkova Ukrainian Catholic Church here in Parma. And I'll have more on their efforts in a moment. But first, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, he was just a few blocks from here earlier today where he held a global summit on Ukrainian refugees. Now, why, you might ask, and that's because state leaders are anticipating an influx of Ukrainian refugees who left their homes behind to escape Russia's invasion. And today, state leaders and officials from refugee resettlement agencies gathered to continue getting ready for the possible arrival of those refugees. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg, he's live at St. Vladimir in Parma where that summit happened. So, Jordan, what came out of this tonight? Well, what came out of it is a whole lot of groundwork and a whole lot of discussion. No one knows when, how many, or even if Ukrainian refugees will come to here to Northeast Ohio. But if history is any indication, it's almost a foregone conclusion. In sight and in sound, Parma's Ukrainian village is ready. The state is ready as well to roll out the red, white, and blue carpet. Let me make it very, very clear uh, to everyone, Ohio welcomes and will welcome uh, any refugees who come from Ukraine. Thursday's summit on Ukrainian refugees brought together a myriad of different organizations who could play a role in the resettlement of refugees over the coming months. From charities to faith-based organizations, officials say nonprofits of all sizes can help those who lost so much so quickly. The people were at work one day, they went to bed, their cities or villages were bombed, and now they're fleeing the next day with a bag in hand and their child in hand. We've always uh, benefited from people who are coming here legally. Immigrants, we're a nation of immigrants. Uh, if you look at Northeast Ohio, Northeast Ohio was built by immigrants. And, you know, we always have room for people who, who believe in freedom. We always have room for people who share our values. The processing of refugees is done by the federal government, but it also provides funding that's administered by local agencies. Given the sizable and well-entrenched Ukrainian population that already exists in Northeast Ohio, officials say it is highly likely that the region will be called upon again. We resettle refugees in Ohio all the time. Uh, so this is not anything new. This war is new and the horrible tragedy is, is, is new. But opening our hearts to uh, refugees is something that we do. And in addition to not knowing how many, when, or even if, resettlement agencies are often given not very much advance notice of when refugees are coming to Ohio. In many cases, it is less than two weeks. Reporting live in Parma, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.